So we come here and I just delete this area, press 3, go to the face mode and delete. And here we add a mirror modifier which make our job a little bit easier. So I just extrude inside those, okay? And a little bit later, you're gonna understand why I did so. That's because of the tire, okay? So now I'm gonna deselect this part which include the tire, okay? Here and hold down control and deselect this part right and we just extrude that from the top so that it take, takes the cover and now when we are in solid mode I just scale that a little bit down okay press S and G and grab this one at so, so that it match the floor, this line, okay? And um, now we made this cool thing. Or we maybe need to grab here and a little bit inside. I think this is much better. Okay, and so I just uh, grab this line, okay, between and this like the other as well here and what I'm gonna do is push that up a little bit or maybe scale that like so okay and it gives us a little bit cool result and just press now G in X axis a bit okay Now we have this cool shape here. Or maybe here in Z axis. Okay, you see a very a very small adjustment how effects uh, how gonna affect our uh, model. So I'm just gonna activate my cavity and shadow and maybe choose another matte cap this brighter or this darker okay that's up to you so now we have this basic shape of our car so I'm gonna come here press 1 go to the um, vertex mode and just grab this point and move it back side in backward I mean as well here just play around with those till we get a cool result and as well here grab and push those inside okay so we check out here as well so this is gonna be front and oh if you press H it will hide everything so don't press that unless you need so now we made the basic uh, shape of our car okay so from here everything is fine I think 
Okay. So now the time is for window. Okay. So we have one here. One window right here. Maybe we can change this one. Go a little bit back. And if I go back, look what will happen. Not too back. Push it here. Okay. And this one here. I think no, I think that's fine. So now I'm not. What I'm gonna do is go to the edit mode and press three to grab the window. And I think here I don't need this look cut. Okay, so I just press. Dissolve edge, or maybe I need to bring those here instead. Okay, now so at here I have the window. Okay, guys, so. Uh, So keep we keep our model uh, as low poly as we can so now press 3 go to the face mode and just grab this face and extrude by E inside okay a little bit okay just a bit and E inside again grab here and here E, uh, let me look at from here how much extrude we need. Okay, from here, this is a good reference. So, E, a little bit, that's fine, I think. And again, E inside. Okay, grab here and here and E again I, I mean I for inside okay I for inside and E for extrude inside now we got this problem so don't worry just delete this face F and press 1 to get the edge mode in a vertex mode I mean so just grab here and enable the clipping G and Y. We go to the Y and it will snap. So um, when I look from here, so it, I just deselect this area and push those in X axis. Okay. Now much cooler. And as well, I just go to the uh, wireframe mode and grab this one and GX a bit and maybe in Z axis as well yeah just a little bit okay so now what I'm gonna do is again go to the um, wireframe mode grab this area and from the top, we push those by S and in Y axis, okay? So that we scale a little bit inside this area. So again, okay, like so. And 
This gives us a little bit cool effect. Fine. So now it's time for here, for the, this side. Okay, as I told you, we need some loop card. Um, that's because of here as well. So I'm gonna just grab uh, this area. Let me if I can add another. Yeah. So I just deselect this area from here and from the back. Okay. And we go to the uh, wireframe mode so that we can see the image reference. And from here, I just Or maybe we don't need extra um, loop cuts, okay? We just go to the wireframe mode and drag all, everything that in, uh, I mean, top of this edge. Because we want to scale those a little bit in Y axis, okay? So come here, just the up area not the down so from here s y just a little bit okay so that we can see the effects okay and now we see this effect or oh, maybe a little bit inside as well and the next is from here okay or uh, maybe from this point okay so we grab everything with this in the floor okay and we just from the top s y okay like this and now we got this cool effect from here as well okay as you can see so here we maybe need to adjust this area so I just grab and grab here just push them up now Mm, for the back side, okay, come here and grab this point and push them a little bit inside. Okay. And as well for the front, grab and grab from the top. Okay. Or maybe a little bit back in x axis. Uh, we deselect this one just with the upper vertex. Okay. So this is, I think this is a good modeling without maybe any issue. Now, if I press Ctrl Y, we see that this is very good. Uh, topology we don't see too many issues as you can see here we just need to uh, for example right now I want to just keep that as uh, I mean low poly as I can so if I if you come here and grab this edge okay this edge and this edge and here and if you just me make uh, one mean crease just bump that on and now if I, if you add again one subdivision you see that how it affects okay and now if you set it on a higher level just 
as you can see here it don't want to let the subdivision that affect in this area okay so that's it so i'm just gonna save that so so now everything is fine and see you in the next